Welcome to my project bazaar.com. Let us discuss about the splittering resonator and design based microstrip band reject filter for LTE applications. Yeah, let us discuss about the abstract of the process. So recently there has been a growing interest is using the splittering resonator that is SRR and complementary SRR as a cons uh, constitution particles for the design of novel planner microwave components in particular band pass and band rigid filters. So uh, the advantage of using this kind of resonators for a uh, filter design is that they are significantly smaller in the size and the conventional resonance structure. So generally less than one, uh, one tenth of the wavelength of enabling the design of very compact filters it has been demonstrated that when loaded with SRR, so microstrip lines behave as a high Q band reject filters with deep stop bands in the of their resonant frequencies due to the generation of effective medium with negative permeability of the process. So several novel printer micro elements are designed making as either the splittering resonator or complementary splittering resonator. So that is a CSRR. In this proposed work, simple 50 microstrip lines are loaded with SRR and CSRR and very compact band resistance filters have been applied. So important stop and stop band of these filters have been studied and compared in the detailed manner. So finally we simulated the result regarding to S parameters, polar view that is a 3D pattern, 3D and 2D pattern of the radiation pattern, frequency band that is a start and stop band of the process. So this simulation is done by using the HFS software so that is a high frequency structure simulator of the process. So this is the one type of uh, internal design like this is the uh, spittering resonator of the process. Yeah, let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process. So first of all, open the HFSS software. So in the HFSS software, it, uh, it should be in the 3D dimension. That is the X, Y and Z axis. So create a project new design. Whatever it may be designed, I will create a new design of the process. So that is a splittering resonator is like a two type of a square ring resonator. And the substrate model is designed. So whatever it may be, substrate is used. And select the patch model to design the bottom and top of the patch. So assign the boundaries and excitation of the process to set up the analysis of the frequency. So start and stop frequency of the process assign the frequency so whatever it may be we use that frequency it should be assigned to assign the vacuum of uh, boundary of radiation particular radiation of the process to assign the what uh, value of the final radiation pattern of the process so finally we getting the result like the whatever it may be it should be uh, finally get the vswr return loss of the process finally getting the result like uh, 2d and 3 dimension of the pattern so here we using the splittering resonator design so this is the microstrip band reject filter design so this is the microstrip line and this is the SRR so that is a uh, splittering resonator so here we using one two three up to six six resonators parallelly we design so this is the modulation setup of the process in the particular band reject filter generally patch consists of three layers substrate filter ground so substrate is in the middle layer filter is in the top layer and ground in the bottom layer so the substrate is sandwiched between the ground and sub uh, ground patch and it's form a patch and not dielectric medium of the process so this is the microstrip band reject filter design here i'm using the hfs software so here we using this is the microstrip band and these are six resonator we're using the srr uh, this is the one type of a matter and this is the one type of a matter so whatever it may be in the assumption of the particular value so finally calculating the results by using uh, SRR like uh, written loss radiation pattern and all the values which will be calculated so this is in the boundaries uh, here we calculating the perfect thing that is a uh, electric field electric field is assumption by the patch and ground of the plane and then excitation so here we using the excitation as waveport analysis for S11 and S12 of the process so these are the overall flow diagram of the process yeah, let us discuss about the running of the process. So this is the HF as a silicon design. Here I am using a three dimension structure. So this is a rotate design. I am using the rotate of the process. So here I will select an SRR, six type of SRR. So this is six, six, totally 12 SRR I will define. So this is a, so this one is a micro strip feeding of the process. Here I will using uh, boundaries of perfect E1. So for micro strip line one and perfect E2, this is for SRR and then perfect D for ground and then radiation box to uh, to, uh, in, uh, to prevent from the environment of the process. So these are the main process and then excitation. So the excitation here I using this is the first excitation and this is the second excitation of the process. So in the pick uh, here we using the cylinder of pick and then vacuum box it should be selected. 
and then analysis so the analysis setup setup one so i i will get the frequency is 3.5 the maximum number of sources are 20 and then sweep so in the sweep process here yeah, we can start and stop frequency 7 to 12 so this is the start and stop frequency of the pro so this is start frequency 7 GHz and stop frequency equal to 12 GHz of the process so finally i click the validation checkbox so design settings 3d model boundaries and excitation meso operation analysis settings after metrics radiation or should be all the value it should be ticker and then this is the running so validation it should be run <coughs> finally getting the results and this is the written loss so in this written loss the process s11 and this is the s12 so here i will select in the value hfss results and then create terminal so this data report and then rectangular plot so and then new report i will select this type of s11 graph and then s22 graph so this is the return loss of the process and then radiation pattern so this is the gain total so this is the process of gain total of the process this is the peak of the process and then it's a 3d plot so 3d plot here we are using all the in red color so the overall intensity it should be very high so compared to the all the value so x pi theta and gamma so 3 are x y z of the process calculating the ratio engine pattern like that in the peak of gain total of the gain so here we are using the 3.5 GHz and pi is equal to 0 degree of the process so whatever it may be the value should be calculated and then for field radiation pattern so it should be uh, 3d or 2d like that so the overall running procedure for the process is like minus 10 it should be active in the region so and then the value of the SR it should be calculated so here i will select the substrate is silicon i will similarly the three process it should be selected ferro a65 and also derived so all the values it should be calculating the silicon of the process so these are the overall running procedure for the product thank you for listening this video